By definition, every single diamond is completely unique. This is why two diamonds that may sound the same on paper can look completely different in real life. One of the factors that makes a diamond unique is the clarity of the stone, and in particular, the nature and position of the impurities or inclusions. It's important that you not only know the clarity grade of the diamond, but also what that means when it comes to the appearance of the stone. Every diamond has different types of inclusions formed over billions of years. If you take a particular grade of clarity, for example SI2, there can be very big differences in appearances between the different diamonds. Here we have a particularly nice SI2 clarity diamond which has been certified by GIA. There are some inclusions visible under magnification, but these are not visible to the naked eye. There is what's called a small white crystal in the centre facets of the diamond, which is called the table, as well as a few small pinpoints and a feather in the crown of the stone. But if we compare this diamond with another SI2, also certified by GIA, you can see that they are completely different. In fact, this stone has a large black crystal inclusion in the centre of the stone, which is visible to the naked eye in certain lighting conditions, which is then surrounded by quite an unpleasant looking cloud. Because of these differences, these diamonds will be priced very differently, albeit that they are both GIA certified and the same grade, i.e. SI2 clarity. This is one of the reasons why, when you see diamonds priced on the internet in a long list, there is often such a big difference in price between diamonds which, on the basis of the information on the certificate, sound as though they are the same. This difference in appearance happens through all clarity grades. If we have a look here, you can see a diamond with SI1 clarity, which again has been certified by GIA. This particular diamond has what is called a crystal and quite a thick feather just off the table. It also has some pinpoints dotted around the stone. If we compare this to another GIA certified SI1 clarity diamond, this heart shape for example, we can see that the majority of the stone is fairly clean, in that it doesn't have any obvious impurities or inclusions. But there are two quite large twinning wisps that run straight through the centre of the stone. These inclusions are usually white in appearance, and in this stone they are not visible to the naked eye. However, you can see that these two diamonds appear very different in appearance, although they are both GIA certified and both SI1 clarity. Therefore, when you buy a diamond, it's important that you know how your diamond will look. So I'd recommend that the jewellery you choose can ideally show you the diamond in person under magnification, or alternatively, can send you pictures or a video of the stone under a microscope, so that you can make sure that you are happy with the clarity of your stone. Don't be afraid to raise any issues you may have. After all, buying a diamond should always be a special and personal experience.